Hey everyone, it's Fun Around and my name is Jordan and all I want for my birthday is a Cleveland Cavaliers playoff win to tie up this series. So I have a couple of picks for you guys. Uh, yes, it is my birthday, so I hope uh, these all do well for you. I hope you do well with, with betting overall with all your other picks that you take. Um, so you will see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There'll be a link in the description that'll give you a seven day free trial for Outlier. So this first pick is going to be Donovan Mitchell over three and a half, three pointers made at minus 130. He's hit this in every game this series. He He's hit this in a lot of games versus the uh, Celtics uh, over the past couple of years. He's missed this line just two times and you'll see the head to head matchup on the screen. So in that game three at home, and for most of this series, he's been shooting the three without getting a pass. So he's coming off the dribble, taking a screen, and he is pulling up almost immediately. And it has uh, caused some fouls where he gets some, you know, three free throws. And this no hesitation uh, three-point shooting for him has been pretty successful. And he also, whenever he gets a mismatch with Al Horford, he is going to shoot a three almost immediately. It's dribble, dribble, step back, you know, that, that almost travel looking step back that a lot of guys do now. And he goes and he knocks that down. So he was on fire in Cleveland. I believe he hit five three-pointers in the first half, uh, which would have easily cleared this line. So I know his points line is around 30 points. I believe if he does hit that line, he's going to do it with a lot of three-point shooting. He took 12 three-pointers in that last game. And his aggressiveness has been one of the few positive things for the Cleveland Cavaliers offense uh, so he's definitely going to keep that up it's not something you can really game plan for uh, with the Celtics it's just something he's going to do and you just have to kind of live with it because he is taking tough shots if you guys could please like the video and if you haven't please subscribe to the channel if you have a little bit of extra time could you leave a comment for the algorithm you can just say anything and it helps so his next pick is going to be Evan Mobley over 14 and a half points at minus 120 talked about Evan Mobley last game and he hit four us so he's gone over in every game in this series and like i said last game in game two where the cavaliers won i could tell a switch happened for him and his his confidence uh, was going up and he really was attacking the basket um with a different type of confidence and it showed in game three as well uh, there's donovan mitchell who was scoring a ton of points and then evan mobley was there as as kind of the only other consistent score and then everyone else has been inconsistent especially when shooting the three for a lot of the Cavaliers um, Evan Mobley did hurt his ankle um, in that game he came out for most of the third quarter came back in and hit this line I do not see him on the injury report so he should be good to go for this one but in these three games they haven't really been able to shut him down he's been getting easy dunks off of the dribble penetration that comes from Darius Garland Donovan Mitchell Mitchell, Karis LeVert, all these guys come in off the pick and roll and they take the ball to the basket. If they get swarmed, Evan Mobley has been getting easy baskets. In game one, he shot 67% on 12 shots. Game two, 60% on 15 shots. And game three, 64% on 11 shots. And Cleveland has definitely made a concerted effort to get him the ball and get him involved. And before I get into this last pick, I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. Use promo code FINDAROUND11 on any of these. They'll match your first deposit up to $100, and Sleeper will do it up to $500. There'll be links in the description that'll take you straight there with the promo codes, and thank you to anyone who uses those. So his last picks can be Shea Gilgis Alexander over 13 and a half rebounds plus assist at minus 125. He's also gone over this in all three games in this series, and this is pretty much in a must win for the Thunder to tie this one up uh, to go back home uh, at a 2-2. So I can see him playing almost the entire game. He played about 42 minutes in that last game. Uh, so he's going to be on the court a lot, which obviously helps with getting rebounds and getting assists being on the court. So the buildup of this line, I like to break it down uh, whenever I have something like this. Um, it's six assists that they're looking for. And he's been averaging around 14 potential assists in this series. So we need about half of those. Um, to get the assist part down. 
And the rebounds for this is at seven. So you have seven plus six, you have 13, and then they add on the 0.5. And he's been averaging around 17 rebound chances. So we need about half of those as well. And he's been converting over half of these uh, for all three games of the series. So that's why he's just been cashing this line uh, much higher than what it's at. So the opportunities are definitely there. I, I really like this uh, play for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And if you guys would like to discuss lines further, I have a Discord link is in the description. You can hop on in there and talk about basketball, baseball, soccer, whatever you want to talk about. All the sports are there and uh, it's a good community and it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. And if you do well with these and you feel like giving back, I have a cash app and Venmo in the description. You can donate back to the channel and thank you to anyone who does donate. And like I said before, hopefully you get some birthday luck and the Cavaliers go off and Evan Mobley and Donovan Mitchell are a big part of that. But as far as a, a recap goes, um, I had Mike Conley over 19 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He got in some early foul trouble, missed a lot of minutes, uh, but he still cleared this line uh, pretty easily. I think it's, it's pretty low for him. He keeps hitting this. Um, he just missed it that one game where Carl Anthony Towns uh, was was hot and he didn't have to score much. And then Dante DiVincenzo over 22 and a half points. Pretty much every Nick went under except Alec Burks. They all were cold. They all looked tired. I talked about in the first round of the playoffs, I, I felt like they were going to burn out, but they were able to pull off that series. And now it looks like that burnout's starting to happen. I think the Pacers might have been the worst matchup for the Knicks in the second round and it's I know you, you see a lot of other teams are playing guys at 40 minutes and you're saying oh well they're playing them a, t a ton of minutes it's it's different because the Knicks and Tom Thibodeau he was playing these guys 40 minutes for months uh entering into the playoffs so um it's it's nothing new and it's it's finally just catching up to them and their their legs are tired a lot of the shots are coming up short uh, Dante DiVincenzo uh, didn't come close uh, they didn't even you know touch the floor for like the last quarter and a half and uh, that game was just ugly and then Ben Shepard over seven and a half point rebounds and assist um, he almost hit this in the first half um, but obviously with the uh, the blowout he was able to get more playing time and he cleared this pretty easily and I was definitely thinking about going Obi topping because he had a bad game and uh, he, you know, he went off as well. Um, but I didn't put that one out there. And then I have the absolute worst luck with for first quarter props. Um, so Miles Turner, I had mentioned, ha had only scored three points in the entire series in the first quarter. And um, he, this prop was at under four and a half, so he needed five points, and it was, everything was looking good. And then in the final minute of his playing time, he makes a three which is okay all right he knocked down a three and then as we come close to where he's going to get subbed out um tyrese halliburton misses a three he gets the offensive rebound and puts it back in and then he gets subbed out and it like it happened in a one minute span it's just it, no words and i did have someone comment and say hey man can you just give us picks that are guaranteed to hit and I'm thinking, okay, well, uh, there's some minus 8,000s out there for you. Uh, they're not guaranteed. A lot of them are not 100% for the season, but they're, they're around 98, 99%. So um, you could take those and uh, you'll probably make money. And this is also pretty funny. So I asked my uh, little nephew, I just wanted to try something out. Uh, just a $5 bet. I said, who do you think is going to win, the Pacers or the Knicks? And he said, Pacers. And I said, all right. So I put the Pacers spread, and then I said, all right, how about the Nuggets or the Timberwolves? And I definitely thought he was going to take the Timberwolves because it's a cool name, but he said the Nuggets. So I took the Nuggets spread and parlayed it. I said, hey, I'll give you $5 if this hits, and and it hits. So it's like, it's like you know, this is the playoffs. All these games have been just so wild that, um, you know, a, an 11-year-old can just – pick names and uh, hit the bet on a two team parlay. So it, it's, it is what it is. Uh, I guess it's a birthday present for me. I made a, a few bucks from it. So I'm gonna get this edited and get it out to you. God bless you all. It's fine around. My name is Jordan. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.